Hello, and welcome to another episode of Imminent Collections. So, uh, if this is your first time, Imminent Collections is basically just a little video series I do where I look through my collection of stuff, of various stuff. I've done a few in the past, I've done some Pokemon figures, some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Got quite a bit planned in the future as well, but today I thought I'd take a look at a figure line that I have loved since I was very young. And that is Bionicle. So as you can tell from the uh, thumbnail, this is going to be part one of probably a three-part, potentially a four-part series, um, where basically I'm just going to be looking through all of the Bionicle I have. Now, I've done some research before this episode as well. I've looked up the names of everything I can. If I do get anything wrong, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm not super knowledgeable on the lore of Bionicle. I've seen the movies, uh, I've read a little bit online about the various characters that I've got. Just kind of, you know, to get a bit of flavour for them, but I could be missing out major things. If so, let me know, as I say, in the comments below. Anyway, it's going to be a long one, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. So, I've kind of tiered all of these videos into themes. So today's video, part one, will be Matoran and Toa, uh, basically. So these will be the little guys, you know, in the villages, and then the big Toa heroes. So, to start it off, we have a Matoran, uh, and the first one is Rebuilt Holly. Uh, I'm going to have to drop the camera. BRB. Alright, I've dropped the camera. So I've got the names on the screen if I've edited this well. So this is Holly. She's from the Water Village. Um, and she's got a Coley stick. So I'll kind of go through everything in a second. So Coley is a Matoran sport. It's a bit like hockey, basically. They've got these kind of things. That is the Coley puck right there. You can detach and stuff. That's kind of the, the part where it boots, and that's kind of a different part. Now, I did watch the first uh, movie, Mask of Light, recently. Just to kind of uh, get back into Bionicle a little bit. Admittedly, the Coley staffs look a lot different in the movie. Obviously, because they've got to be a bit cooler. I think, like, this part is a hook or whatever, because um, Takanuva, um, he, he's got sort of a, a hook, and he's got a special shot that he does. Yeah, so this is Holly. Um, she does appear in the film a little bit. She's kind of a lovely interest, uh, in a sense. She's a little bit flirty and kind of, um, you know, it's kind of cool. She does have a bit of plot relevance as well. So, uh, looking at her. Now, she's got a mask. So, obviously, all Bionicles come with masks, if you've never seen them before. These are kind of their life force, basically, I think, from what I can tell. If they're maskless, they're dead, basically. I could be wrong about that, actually, though. Let me know in the comments. Now, I think Harley's mask is the same as Gali, who is a Toa of water, from original Toa. So I don't have any of the original Toa, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail if you saw this. I do have the Toa Nuva. But I think this is original Gali's mask, which they gave to the Matoran. Um, was it going to call back, I guess? Because the movie features Toa Nuva and not the original Toa as well. So we'll have a quick look, um, she, they've all got play features, so all the Matorans have this little thing here which basically moves them from side to side. You can technically play Coley with them. I tried as a kid, I'll be honest, it just doesn't work. I mean, this puck thing, you can kind of, you know, if you move this upside down, I guess, you can kind of play hockey with them. I tried playing with a friend, I remember as a kid, he had some Bionicle too. It, it didn't really work, to be honest. But, you know, it was cool to, like, imagine and stuff, obviously. So they can sit down as well, which is quite nice. Don't know why you'd want them sat down, but whatever. Um, posing them is a little bit of a pain, actually, because one side is weighted. And if you leave them over time, they will just kind of turn from one side to the other, basically. But, uh, I mean, that's... I, I, you can probably hack this somehow. I know there's a lot of people... I have modded Bionicle over the years. But yeah, so that is Matoran Harley. I really like uh, Harley. Her mask, her like, transparent mask is just... It's so cool. And obviously you can switch masks. I mean, you could put this on Toa Nuva Ga uh, Gali if you wanted to kind of have a bit of a throwback look. But anyway, on to the next Matoran.
All right, this is rebuilt Kopeke. So I forgot to mention actually, I mentioned the Halley is rebuilt as well. So as with the tower, which had an original run before the like Nuva ones, these are kind of Matura Nuva, I guess, because um, I'll try and get a picture maybe of original Halley or original Kopeke, but they look a bit more standard. They're not quite as complex. They've got different masks as well. So the three Matoran I have are rebuilt versions. Um, basically, they're kind of updated. And I think original Matorans didn't have the Kohli sticks. So obviously, I bought these as a kid because I watched the movie. I love the Kohli kind of thing. And I was like, oh man, you can get Matorans that can play Kohli. The adverts make it look so cool and easy. It's, it's not, but still kind of cool. So... Kopeke, uh, he's an ice Matoran, I do believe. So he's got this mask, which I very much like. I think this might have been original or newer's. Or maybe it wasn't. Um, it's definitely not original Kopeke's, even though he's an ice Matoran. I don't know. Or maybe it is an original mask or whatever. But um, much like Harley, you can pull the little puck from the top of the uh, Kohli stick. And obviously, all Matoran uh, rebuilt Matorans come with uh, these uh, these sticks. And as with the other one, you can sit him down. And of course, he's also got the my ooh. oh. When did that come out? Okay. Um, well done. Um, oh, I think have I re have I built him wrong? I think I might have built him wrong years ago. I never noticed that. But do you know what? Got a bit more stability, actually. I wonder if I, like, maybe messed about with it. But he is, his thing is definitely a lot more stable. Um, there we are. If you want to hack for your Matoran, I guess, put it on this side and move this, like, long piece so there are sticks up there. And, um, yeah, I guess it'll hold it steadier. That's kind of cool. I might try that out with Holly as well. But, yeah, that's Kopeke. He is an ice Matoran. On to the next one. So we have another ice Matoran, and that is Motoro, uh, or Matoro, who is, I guess, another uh, rebuilt Matoro, I guess he would be. Um, although, I, so I, um, part of the places I looked up all this info is the Bionicle Wiki, which is a massive help. Kudos to the people that run that wiki. This video would not be possible without them. I'd just be vaguely describing. He's a little dude and he looks a bit like Kopaka. Um, so he, so Matoro is, um, he's in a picture along with Kopeke, but Kopeke is described as like rebuilt, but Matoro isn't. So I don't know if he never existed before. Now he obviously has Kopaka's original Gen 1 look. As you can see, as we'll see later, Kopaka's, you know, hell, uh, mask did change quite a bit. Also, their faces are really interesting. So, if you've ever seen a Toa's face, they're a lot smaller and sleeker than this. And, like, Matoran faces are massive for some reason. Uh, but, yeah, I really like this mask. I think, as a big Kopaka fan, I mean, you can tell already I'm a big ice dude. Ice is my favourite kind of element in the Bionicle universe. So I kind of, I see, when I bought that as a kid, I thought he was the uh, Earth, I think it's Earth and not Rock, Onua's place. I thought he was a Matoran from Onua's place. But these are both from the Ice place, according to um, the wiki. Also, another way I look these people up, uh, just in case you are ever confused about your own Bionicles, Google Lens is amazing. If you take a photo of your Bionicle, You'll get loads of matches on like eBay and stuff, but they'll usually list the name of the thing, so you can just do it that way. So he obviously also has his Cody stick, and I'm going to take the ball pick puck thing out. He can also sit down, um, and curiously, it's only Kopeke that I built correctly, apparently. Oh, well, not correctly, I suppose, but more meta, you know, in that he won't swivel, because I've got this thing on this side as well, so I don't know. Um... But yeah, I, I really like... He's probably my... F well, I don't know. Holly's got that really cool mask, but I love Kopaka's old mask, so... The only criticism... Both Kopeke and Matoro have, like, grey masks. I kind of wish they were coloured... Like, I wish he had a white mask. Uh, and to be honest, 
he could do with a white mask as well. They do look grey, which is a little bit dull, because obviously the original masks were, you know, the correct colour, Kapaka's was white. But yeah, so this wraps up my Matoran slash rebuilt Matoran, don't know what you want to call them. But I do have one more little guy until we get on to different types, BRB. Alright, so we have Turaga Vakama. So he played a big role in the movie, if you've ever seen Mask of Light, he's the village elder of the uh, Tahmuta, I, I can't remember what it's called, but the, the place where Tahu lives, the place where the Koli match was held at the start of the movie. Um, so he is like an elder Matoran, basically. I think the, the vague sort of like backstory of this is I think the Matorans gave up I don't know if they gave up their life or they gave up something to be like consumed by the element of the area and then they became tur Turugas, I think. Uh, or I could be wrong about that. Correct me in the comments below. So this guy, I definitely remember I got for free. I think there was a newspaper thing. It was around the release of Mask of Light, obviously, in the UK. And I'm pretty sure you could get a coupon and send it off. Or you could go to like a Toys R Us or something. And he came in a poly bag. Um, I remember being over the moon because I love this guy's design. Um, so we'll go over it. Now, first thing to note is the play feature. Uh, you know, his arm goes up and down. Sadly, the elastic band, because this is about 20 years old, I don't know if, uh, is there any elastic band left? Oh, there was a bit. Of, ah, there we are. <laughs> There's a little bit stuck to it. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, because this is 20 year old rubber band, it's rotted, basically. Um, that's, that's life, really, I guess. I might try and get a new rubber band or something, then easy to come by. Um, but yeah, so basically, back in the day, it wouldn't let you just sit there. It would kind of snap back because the tension in the band. So you could kind of make him wave his stick. Now, I'm guessing there were other Vakamas as well. Uh, wait, no, not Vakamas. Uh, Turagas. Sorry. So, Vakama is the name of the Turaga. Turaga is the line of Elder Matoran. There were a few in the film. I've not looked up if you could get any others. I mean, I just got this dude for free. I don't know if, as a kid, I'd have bought many more of these if I'd sold them in the shops. But uh... So, the cool thing about him... First of all, his mask is super cool. I really like this. It's got the like long thing that looks a bit like a beard, obviously because he's an elder, it fits in. And then, so these are Toa faces, as I mentioned. They're a lot bigger than the, uh, a lot sleeker and smaller than the Matorans. But also, his feet are Toa faces as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he, th there's three red Toa faces. And this is really cool. As a kid, I was kind of tempted to swap out Tahu's face with this guy. Um, I never did, really, because I was kind of felt a bit weird about swapping too many parts between my Bionicle, just because I like them to be sort of accurate, but, you know. Um, but yeah, this, this is definitely one of my favourite masks of all Bionicles, I think, because it's so unique. It's, uh, and, you know, it's a nice, pleasing orange. This guy can sit down as well, which makes sense, because, I mean, he's an old man. Uh, this arm does just spin however you want. And, yeah, that's the his flame staff, I guess, which is very cool. Um, so, that is the original kind of run of Matoran, but wait, there's more. So, I've moved everything to the side, because I do have two more Matorans, and technically two more after that, but I'll, I'll explain in a second. So, later on, down the line, I think this might have been around the second or third movie, there was a lot of stuff about um, disc launchers. The, um, call, not Cody discs, I can't remember what they're called now. But they, they were really cool, like, disc launch things. So, this is a Garmatoran. Oh, wow, that did not want to focus. This is Vishola. Vishola? Vishola? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, so she is a Garmatoran, which means that she comes from the water kind of village. So these, as you can tell, I mean, I'll pull back. Uh, see, so that's an original Matoran versus a, you know, a new Matoran. 
So technically these are both counted as Matorans and they both kind of live in the same village, I guess? Or maybe this is from Toa Nuva, which is the kind of new continent kind of thing? I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is Vishola. Um, she's from the Water Village. I'm saying she, it seems most characters from the Water Village in Bionicle are female, which is interesting. Uh, so, the mask is a bit different, they still use the same Toa head. Also, they've got different eye colours, that's something I forgot to mention. So, blue usually have red eye colours, so this is a closer look at the mask. I quite like this mask, I think I just bought it because I wanted more like Matoran characters to play with. And yes, I did play with these as a kid. There we go. So, the gimmick obviously with this Matoran, uh, with these kind of Matorans, is they come with like disc launchers. So this is a disc. They each in their special discs. They've got different designs on each, uh, and you just kind of like put them in each hand. I mean, you can put them on either hand or whatever, because it always uh, it always kind of goes. Well, technically, you could put it sort of. Hang on. No, you can't actually. You so you can only put it so it's facing the outside, uh, unless you put it this side, in which is facing the inside. So oh. So I take the blue thing off as well. I'm going to put it back in her hand so you can fire them as well. So here's an example. Oh, no. How? All right. You ready? Here it goes. Wow. That, uh, that fires are quite a force, actually. I'm glad it didn't go off the side of my table there. So, yeah, so... I'll be honest with you guys. I was never a big fan. I've never been a big fan of toys that fire things. Just because, A, I'm not really into sort of hitting other toys with projectiles anyway. And B, the projectiles always, always get lost. So, I, I, I don't know. But, you know, it, it's cool, I guess. I mean, maybe I was a bit too old to be the kind of kid that wants to fire at things. Which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of a cool gimmick. The one thing I was never mad about on these Matorans, the like silvery ones, is at the back they're just empty like sort of you you can see the things that hold them in place and everything it's i don't know they just don't look quite as cool in my eyes and um then they can't really sit down they can sort of just be totally out of it i guess in this kind of like zen out space but um yeah i don't know they're, they're not quite as cool in my opinion i don't know maybe maybe i'm alone in that but anyway, I do have one more of these, because obviously, one isn't enough. It's the Lamatoran Orkham. Oh, Orkham? I, I don't know. Uh, so, he obviously is from Lamatora, um, which is where Lewa came from. It's like the air place. Uh, they're very nature-focused. So, as you can see, he's got uh, quite a different one. I think that's probably the kind of symbol for the the lay matora kind of place um i've also realized so there is this little weird handle thing but it doesn't well it does kind of move it spins but you can't do anything with it you can kind of hold them i guess or maybe you're meant to like hold it and then right i'm sorry no hang on i'm sorry Wow, what an action shot that was. Um, but yeah, so... Again, kind of cool. And of course, eagle-eyed viewers will notice that his mask looks awfully familiar. Let's take a look at the mask first, and then we'll get on to that. So, his eyes are red as well. Why is that not coming up? There we are, you can kind of see they're red. Um, or at the back of his like brain there. And that is his mask which is very cool it's very green green with silvery tips man i wish i could see it in monochrome oh look i can so yes kopeki um also has the same mask which is kind of weird i mean he's an ice matoran he's a lame matoran but uh they share the same masks now this is far from a new concept because um I'm pretty sure every Toa mask actually comes in a different colour as well. Sorry about that, his head just fell off. But yeah, um, much like much like the uh, the other new Matoran, 
I'm not wild on these designs. Again, there's just a lot of backspace. I mean, I like the colour. I like the green thing. Green is my second... Well, air is my second favourite element in Bionicle, but still, eh, I don't know. It's, um... They're fine. But now it's time to focus on some kind of Matorans, but kind of not Matorans. I'm talking about the Rahaga. So, this one specifically is Norik. Um, and these are a weird fusion, so these are a mix between Rakshi, which we'll get on to in part two, so stay tuned for that, and Matorans. So they're kind of corrupted Matorans that were made to defend um, a version of Makuta. Now I can't remember what version it was, there's been a few versions of Makuta. But as you can see, they are kind of Matoran proportioned. Um, they've even got the staff that uh, the elders would use, kind of. It's 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 similar in design. Um, however, they have the head of a Rakshi. Now, we'll get on to those later on, um, so if you're lost of what they are, you know, well, I'll explain. Um, and yeah, these are kind of mini villains. Uh, I have two of them. I don't really know why I bought them. I think it was just that I really love Rakshi, and I love the Rakshi heads. Uh, they're kind of serpentine. Uh, and they have a gimmick, so I'm going to try and make this fly. Basically, it's a flying top, as you can see. It's kind of a, a pinwheel, kind of, not a pinwheel, you know what I mean. It goes on here, this, like, rotating thing. And um, because Beyblade was big at the time, you rip this out and it should fly. So we're going to give it a go. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe it doesn't fly. Uh, let's give that another go. Let me angle it. You guys ready? Go! No, okay, it just kind of spins then. Okay, I mean... Cool. Right, I'll put that back in again. Okay, I feel like in the adverts it flew, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just spins a lot. I don't know. But this is Norik. Anyway, a kind of another weird Matoran kind of thing. And he's got a pal. It pokes, 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 p p o u k s. Um, so yeah, he's he's also a uh, a Rakshi kind of thing. He's got the head there. He's got the Rakshi staff end. I forgot to say that's the red Rakshi's staff head. This is the brown one, obviously. And he's also got one. Let's see if we can make this one fly. Unfortunately, I've only got one rip cord. I've lost the other. Let's give it a go. Ah, let's give it a go. Nope, still just like spins. Okay, well, hey, it's kind of cool though. I, I like him. He's cute. Um, I think the reason I just have red and brown, uh, much like I have blue and green of the like new Matorans and only a few of those, I think these are the only ones that ever showed up in like physical stores when I went to look at Bionicle stuff. So it was basically buy that or just buy nothing. So I bought these. Anyway, you know, I'm I'm glad they have them. They're weird oddities, but you know, I'm I'm glad I'll put them in with my Rakshi, I think. Anyway, we've focused enough on Matorans now, so I'm gonna clear the field of those, and then it's time for the big boys. It's the Toa. Alright, there's that time you've been waiting for. It's time for the Toa. What would Bionicle be without the heroes? So these ones now are going to be the Toa Nuva. I've, as I've mentioned before, there are earlier versions of these Toa. So these are kind of after they all found their Kanohi masks, I think they're called. They kind of give them the power. I mean, they were kind of heroes before that, but after they found their masks, they became upgraded, I guess. So it is time for the first Toa, and that is Tahu. So he is obviously um, the Toa of Fire, as you, it, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty obvious with his color scheme, and he is a fiery boy. So uh, there's a lot to go over. Okay, there's a lot to go over uh, with the Toas. So they have a sort of play feature. Uh, this will do something. Most of the time, they'll do a slashing motion as. Tahu will do here, so you can battle your friends. 
and do other things. Um, so first of all we'll take a look at the mask as well, so we'll take that off quickly. His eyes are red, as you can see from his brain. Uh, that's not his brain, but you know what I mean. So that is his mask, very iconic. Personally this is like one of my favourite um, one of my favourite tower masks. I don't know if I'd say one of my favourite masks in general, but you know, it's pretty cool, it's pretty iconic. Um, so one of the things that differentiates Toa Nuva from Toa are these armour bits. So he's got like shoulder pole runs, as do they all. The very silver, he's got a chest piece as well, that's like his skeleton. Now, we'll also see they've got different arms, to, uh, arms and legs. So um, Tahu has like the standard bionicle arm, obviously that's his hand. And then his legs are different, very iconic again, like, I don't know what it is, but this piece screams Bionicle to me. Like, when I see this, it's like, yep, yeah, that's the stuff. Um, also, we'll see that some, some uh, Toa have wider hips, because you can take the legs off, um, and you can, like, mount them that way, basically. Uh, it makes them kind of shorter, but wider as well. Uh, and of course, there are two massive flame-themed blades, as he has here. Now, the cool with, thing with the Toa, they all had transportation methods. So, um, you can do several different things. Uh, so, with Tahu, for example, ah, you can uh, transform his flame blade into, like, a double-sided blade. Um, I don't know if he used this in the movie or anything, or if this is particularly canon, but you can turn it into a kind of double-edged blade, uh, which I'm I'm a big fan of, but you can also do something really interesting. I, I was going to say cool, but it doesn't quite work as well as you'd think. Uh, so, in these feet here, you can put... Uh, you can... Oh, hang on. Sorry, I had to do that off-camera. Um, so, you can put them on each side of the feet, as you can see here, there's like, um, those... Oh, that's why I couldn't put it in this one, I've, for some reason, put a black bar thing. Okay, cool. But, you can make a surfboard. Now, if you've seen Mask of Light, you'll know that Tahu can surf on lava. So, what you can do is place him like that. Suddenly, he's having a whale of a time on his surfboard. Over lava and other things. See, he can hang 10 and 20 and, and 30. And no, oh, oh, that's come off. Hang on. But yeah, overall, it's a cool idea. Um, however, conceptually, it's not the easiest thing to do because, uh, as you can see, he's at like a weird angle when he does this. He can't stand up amazingly well. I mean, I guess he's fine. But it doesn't look quite as cool as it does on, like, the posters and stuff. But, you know, actually, I've just had an idea. Alright, so I've just changed his hips around and thinking of it. You can pull off cooler moves. Like, this way. So it kind of looks like he's, you know, surfing stuff. Um, downside is, he's now a bit shorter. Uh, so, I mean, that's... Kind of the downside, uh, and again, you can't really have him straight-legged because, you know, it wouldn't work. But generally, that is that is Tahu. He's pretty cool. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well, and he's got a second-in-command, and his name is Kopaka. So, hands down, my favourite Bionicle. Um, I'm not even going to pretend it's a close race. I love his design. Um, so, Kopaka is... I don't know, it, it's what made me go from liking Bionicle to loving Bionicle, because his design is just the coolest. So, we'll begin looking at his mask, of course, as with everyone else's. So, he has a blue-eyed thing, which goes really well with his ice design. So, he's got like a robotic kind of thing going on. Now, Sadly, he I always wanted a blue stud where his eye stood, uh, where his, like, robotic eye is. Now, you may be screaming at the screen, well, wait till the 2018 re-release. Oh, I know, I know, don't worry. 
But that's the only thing that would make this like a 10 out of 10 design. But I mean, you know, this is the early 2000s. It's, it is what it is. So as with his brother, he's got all the armour and he's got an action feature too, which is that. Um, that one is double thick for some reason. I can't remember why. But anyway, so he has this kind of staff thing. Now, those look a little bit like, wait, you're jumping ahead. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Now, he's also got a weird arm. So let me take off the shield for a second. Now, this is kind of what Tahu had in the original Toa lineup before Toa Nuva. Uh, so you put a sword there, and that was kind of his arm. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool that they have that back again. He's got a shield. It's, it's pretty plain, but, you know, it's kind of cool. I do like the shield. He's the only Toa with it as well. It's very iconic. He's the second in command, apparently, which is interesting. I never realised that. And then he has white feet, and he's got, like, stopper things there. What are these stoppers for? Well, if you pull off one of his javelin-y kind of things and pull out one of his foot things here. There you go. And then, uh, this is going to be a little bit finicky, but if you put that in the middle and then off camera, because this is going to be very difficult to do on camera, like so, and thus you have Kopaka on skates, who doesn't stand the best, but, eh, you know. So yeah, this is really cool as well. He, um, he can skate along. Now you can elongate it or make it shorter, if that makes sense. There's three holes. I always choose the furthest ahead one because it just works with his feet better. But you can have it like right forward as well, but it just looks a bit weirder. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, honestly, I quite like this. It's probably one of the best transportation things because like it's fairly obvious, you know, you can make him ski and whatnot. He's just a cool guy. I love Kapaka. There's there's not much more to say. He's just he's my favourite. He's cool. Uh, no ice pun intended, but yeah. Right, on to the next one. Here she is. Toa Gali. Uh, so she is the female uh Toa Nuva, so um as I've mentioned before, all the water ones seem to be female. So this is her mask, very iconic again. Um, it's very aquatic themed, I suppose. Uh, her eyes are yellow, which is kind of cool. So it's either red or yellow with the blue ones, I've noticed. Much like her brothers, uh, she has armour. Now, her arms, as you notice, are actually her legs as, as well. Um, <clears throat> this is because she's a swimmer, which means her arms are a lot longer than everyone else's. Also, she has wider hips. Um, I guess because she's female. Um, yeah, and she has two axes here. Now, this gimmick is interesting, but unfortunately I can't show you perfectly why. However, as you can see, she does have two of them. And if you pull these off and, uh, and attach them to her feet like this, she gets flippers. Which are kind of cool, honestly. They're because um, you can put her feet back like this. Now, the reason I said that it doesn't quite work perfectly is because she also comes with these parts, which are little propellers. Now, what you're meant to do is attach them here via one of those like rod things, and like her hand goes like that, and the propellers propel her forward. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I have lost those little things. Um, it's a pain in the arse, honestly. I kind of wish I still had them, because they're kind of meant to go on the other side of her axes anyway. But, um, yeah, unfortunately. But, I mean, you can still get, like, a cool swimming pose and stuff with her. Um, and, yeah, th these are kind of cool as well. I mean, I like that they fit almost perfectly with her feet as well. It's sort of... It does make for weird standing up things, but yeah, that is really cool. I do like Gally. She's not my favourite, but she she is a solid member of the Toa crew. Right, on to the next one. Next up is the Toa of Wind. 
It is time for Liwa, who is my second favourite tower, uh, at least the tower Nuva. So let's take a look at his mask. He's got a yellow backing to green. And I really like this mask. It's very, um, it looks like a leaf, basically, which obviously is what he was going for. But you know, I like it. It's a bit like mantis-like as well, if that makes sense. It does look a little bit like a mantis. Um, Leo in the movie as well was very interesting. He he double spoke or sort of you no know, infighting, air flying, and stuff like that. It was very weird. Um, but yeah, so much like his his siblings, he has the armor. He has the same arms and legs and stuff. He's thin hipped, <clears throat> and he comes with two very large blades. Uh, these are like one of my favorite weapons as well. They just look really cool. They look clean. Um, yeah, he's really cool. Now, his transport method isn't quite as cool. So, there are two things you can do. There's the movie thing, which unfortunately you can't really do well, especially with this arm, because it's not rotatable at all. Oh, wow, hang on, BRB. This arm is too rotatable. Um, so, yeah, you can do the flying thing that he did in the movie, sort of, but it doesn't really work and it just looks derpy. He can kind of fly-ish. Now, the, what I used to do as a kid, and I can't remember if this was an official thing, this might have been on the instruction booklet as, like, a potential, but I took off his shoulder pads and made him look like this. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, it doesn't look amazing. Um, or you could, like, turn it around and have that facing up, um, you know, to kind of make him fly a little bit better. Now, you will notice his shoulder is further down on this side as well. And that's because, whereas this part goes in the circular bit, the other arm is a long black bar that goes into one of these plus bits, uh, which means you've got to put it below, or one of these. It's very weird. Um, it doesn't look great. It, it's fine, I guess. <clears throat> but he'd obviously be flying with his arms forward, I think. So you'd have to do it this way, and it doesn't... There's no there's no proper way to do it, unfortunately. Leeway is the derpiest transportation method, I think, unfortunately. Anyway, let me put him back together. And that's Leewa. Um He's definitely cool, but yeah, unfortunately, he can be a little bit derpy. Anyway, on to the next tower. It's time for the angriest boy. That's right, it is Onua with his chainsaws. So as you can tell, he is the shortest of the group as well. Uh, so we'll take a look at him. So first off, of course, is almost mandatory now. Take a look at the mask, uh, which is also the mask of... Ah, uh, oh, I can't remember his name from the movie now. It was, it was yellow though. It's kind of a basic mask. I do like it though. Um, you know, he's kind of cool. He's got, like, green eyes, which is very nice. Green on black. Of course, he is the Tower of Earth, or Rocks. I think it's Earth. Pohatu and, to and Onu are very similar, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he is very stocky. Uh, he's got wide shoulders and stuff. His kind of, his body shape is different as well his his head is a lot more forward so usually it's up here but it's kind of mounted on the front of his chest plate which is kind of interesting which means he can sort of tilt his head a lot um his arms are very stubby they're kind of like borok legs as we'll see uh in the next part and of course he has two massive chainsaws uh which are very cool so his gimmick's a little bit different. All of the others, you kind of move, and, you know, they move their right arm. Onua just goes mental. Absolutely insane. He, th this this tower cannot be stopped. Uh, of course, you're probably wondering, what happens with his transportation? Well, this. As if Onua couldn't get any cooler, he also uses his chainsaws as rollerblades. This is a weird one. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's cool as fuck. But why? 
I, I don't know how this works exactly. I guess it would kind of work, wouldn't it? Because it would go forward and he'd roll on it. But yeah, um, this is a bit of a weird one. Also, I had to borrow the side things from Kopaka because I'm pretty sure I bought this second hand. Um, the rest of the stuff I either bought in stores or got. This, however, I, I bought from like a car boot sale or something because I didn't have Onua. Now, I'm also going to break it to you. I don't have Pohatu. Um, I might buy him. If I do buy him, keep an eye on my Instagram, which I've linked to the bottom of this video. If I do buy Pohatu, I'll put up pictures of him and stuff. Because I would like the original Toa Nuva lineup, and I'm only missing one. It might be worth it. Um, but yeah, so that, that is Onua on his absolutely insane ride. Right, I'm going to put the things back together now, and then we'll get on to the last boy, the seventh tower. That's right, it's time for Takanuva. Sorry, just a quick uh, interspersial thing. Um, I just realised, sorry, the other thing I forgot to mention, this isn't Onua's mask. Um, this is just like a placeholder mask. I think it came with Takanuva's bike, which was like a whole different set. Um, I think I just used this because I didn't have Onua's mask. I think I bought him without the mask, which is... Well, I bought him in a charity shop, so I might end up buying Onua's mask as well. But for now, I mean, this kind of does the job. Anyway, on to Takanuva. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. He's not a man. He is a Toa. He is a bio... Uh, biological robot thing. This is... Takanuva, the Tower of Light. So if you've seen the movie, you'll know that uh, this is what... Uh, ta was he called Takanuva throughout the movie, or Takuya, or something like that? But this is who he turned into. As you can see, this is quite a special-looking tower. Um, so there's a lot to go through. So his armour is gold, of course, as is his mask. I'm not going to take his mask off because it's got a really long thing in it for some reason. These just, like, pop in. This has got a really... Long. I'll, I'll show you guys in a second what I mean, but it is a very cool mask. Uh, it's sort of very iconic. He's got gold eyes, or well, yellow really. That's that's the colour of his brain. And of course, his play feature is like everyone else's. Now, he has the same arms as Gali, which is that the legs basically. So you've got to kind of turn them up inside here, because otherwise you can only do well. You can't really do much really. Um, so, I've slightly altered mine, as you can see. So this does come with him. This is his staff from 99% sure. Um, which, you know, is the staff of the, the, the Tower of Light. Uh, and on the other hand, I put this. So, this is a silver version of his mask. Now, as I mentioned, he did come with a bike. I genuinely, for the life of me, don't remember where I've put that bike. It's kind of like a hover bike kind of thing. It's where uh, Onua's like, replacement mask came from, because it was the mask of um, his friend Jala, I think, who died, who sacrificed himself. Uh, but then he came back, so it's fine. Um, and yeah, honestly, the Mask of Light, I really like. So I put that on his hand just as a kind of claw weapon thing because I was like oh that that would work kind of cool unless that is like a thing they mentioned in the instructions as well it has been as I said about 20 years since I've built these Bionicle so I'm just going with the setup that I think makes sense um because to show you here I do have a spare grey one as well so I'm pretty sure this came as part of the bike and maybe they went on either side or something but I pulled them off because, I mean, they're cool masks. I like having, you know, individual masks. So, yeah, that's the Mask of Light. Of course, you're probably thinking, wait a second, wasn't there, like, some other pack that came with Makuta? Or well, maybe there was. Stay tuned for part two to see if I'm bullshitting. So, that there is six of the seven Toa. Obviously, he's really cool. He's very white and glowing and gold and everything. Um, and yeah, that about wraps up part one. So that is the Toa Nuva. Now, just before I do end it though, I do have one or two other masks I'd like to show you. That is two other masks, I guess. So the first one is, this came with, I want to say this came with the package. I might have got this somewhere else, I can't remember. 
This is like a special version of the Mask of Light. As you can see, this thing is really long, which is why I didn't want to pull it off this, because it takes a while, it's a bit finicky, and I don't want to risk bending that or whatever. So this is like... It's hard to describe what this is exactly. It's like a see-through one with some glitter or something. It's really cool. I think it's a glow-in-the-dark mask. I'm 99% sure it did come with the Takanuva and bike set. I think it like advertised a glow-in-the-dark dark mask. So this is just really cool to have. I, I will one day find a good way to display it. And the second one I have was also a freebie I got. So I believe this might have been the newspaper deal. I think like you sent off and this came in the mail or something. Yeah. Is this one. So this is the, um, this is a mask I think I got for free from a newspaper deal. I think there was a coupon you could take to like a store to pick it up or something. So this is Corrupted Tahu. Um, if you remember from the first movie, uh, Mask of Light, at one point Tahu was like infected by one of the Rakshi and um, he turned into this. So I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like on Tahu. Hey, there you go. So yeah, it's um, it, it's a really cool one. I love the uh, the colours and the moulding of this because he's kind of just corrupted and green, red and stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's just a really cool mask. I don't think it's like valuable or anything, but as a kid, I thought this was the coolest stuff. Whenever I'd play with him, there'd always be a time where he'd be corrupted. It's like, oh, I'm gonna change his mask to this one, and you know, it's just very cool. Um, yeah, that about wraps up part one of my Imminent Collections Bionicle video. So stay tuned, part two uh, will be the bad guys. So I've got quite a few bad guys. Not going to spoil exactly who I have, but I've, I've got a decent lineup. So we'll take a look at them. And then part three, I do have more modern Bionicle as well. Like this is the 2000 to 2003 era. I'd say uh, that we're going to go for part two, uh, one and two, and then part three is beyond that. So stay tuned for that. They'll be going up in the next few days after this. Part two will be up like two or three days after this one. Part three might be a bit longer because I have to do more research on the newer like Bionicle and stuff. But I don't think it'll be much longer. But anyway, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I will leave you a playlist of my other Imminent Collection videos. I do the same thing but with like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and stuff. I'll be doing more in the future in the Imminent Collection series, not just Bionicle. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know in the comments as well if you've got any of these or who your favourite uh, of the ones I've shown you are. As I said, I may try and get Pohatu just to have like the full Toa Nuva things. I may have a cheeky look to see if there's any cheap Matorans going as well. You know, you can never have too many Matorans, I suppose. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in part two. Goodbye.